Insulin is an important medication that many diabetic patients use. Knowing how to correctly inject insulin will help you keep your blood sugars under control. So let's see how a certified diabetes educator shows a patient how to use insulin. I see your doctor ordered you to take some insulin. Yes, he did. You'll be taking 10 units of long-acting insulin each night before bed. And I see you brought all your supplies with you. Yes. Okay, let's go over them together. Your insulin, your syringes, alcohol swabs, and a sharps container. The first step that we want to do is make sure your hands are nice and clean. So since we're not using soap and water here, we're going to use a hand sanitizer. But at home, you could use soap and water to make sure your hands are nice and clean. The next step that I want to make sure you understand is that new insulin bottles often have a hard plastic cap on top. And you need to snap that top off to reveal a rubber top before you start the injection process. Okay. So why don't you get started? You can take an alcohol swab and clean the rubber top. Now I'm going to show you how to use a syringe. First step is to take the caps off. The next step is to inject air into the insulin bottle. So you need to pull the plunger down equal to the dose of insulin that you'll be taking. We need to pull down the plunger to 10, which equals the number of units you'll be injecting. Hold the bottle, insert the needle, and push the plunger completely down. The next step is to turn the bottle upside down and slowly pull the plunger down two additional units to the dose that you'll be injecting. Since you'll be injecting 10 units, you'll pull the plunger down to 12. We do this to be able to push the two extra units back up into the bottle to make sure there's no air. We remove the needle. Always make sure you double check your dose to be sure that you'll be injecting the amount that your doctor has prescribed. Now you're ready to inject the insulin. Let's do it. Okay. Insulin can be injected in the belly, the upper outer arm, the outer thigh, or your buttock area. What's going to work for you today? My belly. Okay. First step you need to do is to clean the injection site. And you do this simply by taking an alcohol swab or soap and water and wiping a two-inch circle around the site. You need to pinch your skin so that you'll be injecting into fat tissue and not muscle. Push the needle into the skin and push the plunger down completely. Now count to 10 to make sure that you've injected all your insulin. Remove the needle. Release the pinch. Place your used syringe in the sharps container. With the tissue, gently press the injection site, but don't massage it. That was really easy. Great job. Now you know how to inject insulin correctly and safely. Using insulin correctly is an important part of taking care of your diabetes. I'm Dr. Duran Schneider with another tip to help you live a healthier life.